Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to talk about SSH. SSH is used as a client server communication and it makes this communication secure um, using cryptographic keys and it is widespread around the world so everyone that is connecting to a server to copy a file to control the server and to manage the server will use SSH connections. But sometimes there are something that is really annoying on SSH connections. This is the SSH connection timeout. Sometimes you just leave the computer to grab some coffee and when you reach the computer, your connection just dropped off. Today, we are going to learn how to increase the SSH connect connection timeout. So this can be done on the server, on a configuration file. And I will, I'm going to tell you how to do it. First of all, let me connect, let me connect to my server. I'm using password authentication because this is in my local network. There is no problem. So if you go to etc SSH, you see some files here. I will tell you what files are important here. First of all, you have the SSH config file, which configs the SSH client. And there is the SSH D config file, which configs the SSH server. The D stands for daemon. So we want to change the fi this file since we want to change the server settings. Let's go ahead and open sshd.config. As you might see, I updated this, uh, these two configurations and those values are not really good. By default, these values are commented out and they are like this, but we want to change it, right? So first of all, let's understand what those two configurations are and what those values do. So the first one client alive interval configures the server to send new packets to the client each, in this case, three seconds. And the second parameter, client alive count max, configures the server to close the connection if the client has been inactive for n intervals, in this case, zero intervals. So the timeout will be the client alive interval times the client alive count max. So imagine that you want you really want a 24 hours timeout. So what you'll need to do is update those two values to make them do 24 hours. But these values are in seconds. So the first one will be 120. So at every 120 seconds, your server will send null packets to the client keeping the connection alive. And the, the client alive count max will be 720. If after 720 intervals of 120 seconds, uh, the client is still inactive, uh, which by the way is 24 hours, uh, the connection will be dropped off. As simple as that. So now we can just save the file. And after that, we just need to restart the, um, the server. So it will be sudo system, sorry, system ctl reload sshd and that's it 
after this configuration, you'll never time out. At least until you reach your 24 hours of inactivity. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.